going to be a love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Okay, so I'm filming this on the last day of May. By the time I upload it, it's going to be June. So I'm really sorry that I didn't get your guys' readings out sooner. It's been a bit of a crazy month. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say. But I appreciate you all being patient. So if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Or if you're a new subscriber, um, thank you for coming to my channel. And all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. All right, we're going to go ahead and dive right in. All right, so I have my Rider Waite and my Dragon Tarot for you, Virgo. So we're going to go ahead and use those right away, right off the bat. Reading now for Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Virgo, please. What are Virgos need to know? Ready? Four cards, please. I see you working really hard to put some money aside for whatever reason. Um, one more, please. Okay, so I see you putting aside a lot of money, um, trying to come to a decision about... Um, your love life. I feel like you feel like you cannot love anyone as long as your financial situation is not stable. Um, also, there's still some shadow feelings of heartbreak that you're still clinging on to. In order to heal this shadow, I think you're going to have to do a lot of um, subconscious um, shadow work. And let me tell you why I said that. So we have the heartbreak card, which seems to come out every single Virgo reading that I do. So I think this really needs to be addressed. Um, and then we have the moon with it. So these feelings of heartbreak are deep, deep seated. Like the moon represents the subconscious. So these feelings, you might not even be aware of them. You might just be suppressing them and trying to pretend like everything is fine. And clearly you're not. Because this has come up for two straight years straight that I've been reading for Virgo. Um, Alright, what, what more can you tell me about this heartbreak card, please? Spirit. Yes, they want you to do some deep meditation. See, we have Four of Swords, which is deep meditation, going within, resting. What else do you want our Virgos to know, please? Okay, so we have some stability coming in here soon. Look at this. Maybe a committed relationship. Um, once you figure out this whole heartbreak thing. <laughs> I feel like everything's going to stable out for you. You just have to do a lot of meditation. Look, a lot of meditation. Going within to your subconscious. Healing these, um, these imprint feelings of heartbreak and I feel like you don't need to worry about your finances right now I know you're trying to come to this, this decision you it feels like you're torn between trying to worry about your finances and making money or focusing on love and you don't really have to make a decision between those two you can just do both honestly you know if you're with someone who is patient and understanding then they're going to understand that you know Everyone's a work in progress. So you might not be where you're, where you're, where you want to be right now, Virgo. 
but that at least you're working towards a goal, okay? So I believe if you can put all of those feelings aside, um, go within and work on those feelings of heartbreak, then you're going to have this energy coming in, which is the energy of stability, you know, everything working out for you and, you know, a st possible stable relationship and also some stability in your finances coming in. You just have to trust the process. So let's get a final outcome card for our um, Virgos. And then we're going to do Virgo singles. Actually, you know what? Let's pull some cards from the Dragon Tarot before I forget to do that. Let's do that. Okay, do you have anything to tell us? Do you have anything to tell our Virgos from the Dragon Tarot, please? Yeah. <laughs> do you have anything to tell Virgo from the Dragon Tarot, please? Virgos, my beautiful earth sign Virgos, four cards, three of wands, so I do see you doing a lot of planning for your future, very good, oh we got some competition, <laughs> so there is a lot of people right now that are competing for your heart, whether you are aware of it or not. You're a hot commodity, Virgo. Let's see. Two more, please. So hot in here. Two of Pentacles, working on balancing out your love life and your emotional life. Ooh, look at this. I was shuffling and look what happens. We have the Fool. You have a chance at a fresh start in your love life. You gotta let go of this heartbreak, okay? And the last card that just flew out. Let's, ooh, there's two. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so these are both tens. So the Fool is about a fresh start and starting over. The Wheel of Fortune is also number ten, which is a fresh start, right? Fresh start. You've been here already. You've been at rock bottom. Do you want to get there again? If you don't focus and do what this universe is asking you to do, which is go deep within your subconscious mind to work on these um, hidden feelings of heartbreak, we're going to be right back to this energy, which is the Ten of Swords, which feeling like rock bottom. I see that you're really trying to balance everything out, right? I see that you're planning for the future, okay? This Wheel of Fortune is saying fate is in your hands, like... You know, you're you're on the right path. Luck is in is on your side. You know, you've learned most of your major lessons. Just this the last one is the one that you're struggling with. Can we get an outcome card for Virgo, please? What's the outcome for our beautiful Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, the outcome is going to be Ace of Pentacles, which look, we have new beginnings, new beginnings. You have a chance for a new relationship, a new start. Let go of the heartbreak, Virgo. It doesn't have to be that way. It's all in here. Okay, one second. Okay. Whew. Um, we are going to do... I'm going to pull some cards for Virgo singles, okay? Better. Excuse me. Suggest one second. Okay, let's pull some cards for Virgo singles. It's a bug. What do our Virgo singles need to know, please? It's pretty hot in here. I want to turn the air on, but I'm afraid you guys won't be able to hear me in here, so... Suffer through. Now tell me just made a noise. All right, what do you got for Virgo singles, please? Virgo singles.
Four cards. Two of Cups. All right, you're not going to be single for long. <laughs> Two of Cups. And this person that's coming in, you're both going to come in with a clear head and a clear conscious conscience. Motherfucker, Virgo. <laughs> Cards are flying out. Five of Cups in reverse. No more pain. Last one. Virgo singles. The Hanged Man. Whew. Something ain't right. Something is not right. We got Five of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Hanged Man. Okay. We gotta look this up real quick. I don't know what this means. Unexpected news. Surprise visit from an old friend. Um, someone who will remind you of past events that you would rather forget. But try, if you can, to learn the lessons. <laughs> Didn't I just say that? <laughs> I just said that, Virgo. I said, let go of the past heartbreak and move forward. Don't let this past friend or whatever keep you held back in the past time to move forward oh lord and then we have the hanged man so for you virgo singles look i see a relationship coming in we have the two of cups this is not a shitty connection <clears throat> excuse me this is deep soulmates twin flamey twin soul connection this is a freaking two of cups. This is the card to get any love reading, period, okay? And then I see ace of swords. So this is both of you going in with a lot of clarification, the sword of truth. Nobody's going to be trying to hide anything. Nobody's going to be faking anything. You're both going to go into it knowing who the other is, okay? And But then we have this five of cups. So someone from the past coming in and going, mm -hmm, let me just stick my shit up in here and mix shit around and stir some shit up okay now are you gonna let them stir some shit up because if you do let this person from your past stir some shit up it's gonna fuck this up virgo and also look at what's coming next if you let them put that fly in your ointment look what's gonna happen everything's gonna go on pause all right let's get one more card so I suggest you, what in the hell is going on with these cards? Hold on. I suggest you don't let this past person mess anything up for you. Okay. Can we get an outcome card for our singles? Oop, they threw that one at me. The outcome is the world. See, look at this. Stay on your path. None of this five of cups energy. Stay on your path, okay? Don't let this put a damper and a pause on anything because look, if you can stay focused on this new love affair, look, you got the world. This person has the potential to be everything that you want them to be. They are your suited mate. They're your other person. They're your other half, okay? Um, we got fire, water, earth. So yes, it's it's... It's all of the elements of emotional, physical, spiritual, sexual, energy, all combined. It's the perfect union. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull some shadow cards for you to see if you have any shadows, Virgo. And then we'll do the who oracle to give you some character traits about your person. And we're going to end with your spirit message, okay? All right, so let's see if Virgo has any shadows right now that you want them to tackle spirit in order to make their love life easier. We are going to do two cards, please. <clears throat> All right, two cards for Virgo shadows, please. Okay, so the first card is not a shadow card, it's communication. It's good. Ooh, 
you don't have any shadows right now. <laughs> That's good. So we have number five, communication. So this is a healing card. So this is saying right here, Virgo, you guys have learned to communicate and communicate well. It's a healing card. So this energy of communication um, is probably bringing someone in to you that's going to want to communicate with you. We got letters. We got two letters. We got, you know, two phone, three phones, excuse me, and a computer. So <laughs> this is some communication coming in for you, Virgos. For those of you that have been waiting for some communication, there is your um, confirmation. <clears throat> and then we have good timing, number 16. So being in the right place at the right time. This is number 16 added up and it's number 7. So being in the right place at the right time to meet the right person, bam. And, and thing just, things just fall into place. Okay, let's do your oracle. Oracle. <clears throat> Okay. What do we got for a Virgo for character traits about their person, please? Character traits for a Virgo. I am tapped the fuck in right now. Can't you tell? <laughs> so relaxed. And I am loving this dress. Okay. Three cards. Why do you guys always get this card? Narcissistic. I feel like... Is that your guys' energy or something? It comes up every Virgo read. Y'all need to be careful of that energy, dude. For real. Either you are a narcissist or your person is. Because it comes up every single Virgo read I do. It's came up for every single one since I've gotten this Who deck. Every, every single reading I've done with this deck. Every single time. Body art. So tattoos. It's crazy. Nurture. You guys get the same three. You guys get the same three cards every single time I do the whore. Whore? whore? Every single that was like a Freudian slip. That's so funny. No, not I mean not really, but seriously, it sort of was. So every single time, I'm sorry, Virgo, I'm not calling you a whore. I swear I'm not. <laughs> but you guys get this, and I didn't mean to say but you guys get these same three cards every single time I do the who oracle for you guys. You guys always get this card, narcissistic, body art, and nurture. And I swear to God, in that order, it's ridiculous. It's so weird every single time. If you don't believe me, go back and watch the last one. Seriously. And the one before that. Whenever, whenever I got this deck is when I started doing these, these cards Go back and watch every single reading for Virgo where I use this deck and you get the same three cards. I swear you do. So either you or your person, I mean, take it out resonates. Either you have narcissistic tendencies or your person does, or you guys have, um, this is a character deck. So it's like character traits. So, um, you know, it could be like, you were like this in the past or they were like this in the past. Um, hopefully you guys aren't like that now um, because that's not a good trait. <laughs> it's not a good trait for your partner to have either. Um, and th this speaks for itself. It's tattoos. You know, it's it's tattoos. Tattoos. Um, nothing wrong with little tattoos. And then we have nurture. So the, your person or you, you know, this is supposed to be character traits of your person. So I'm just going to say your person, very loving, very kind, very nurturing. Um, usually, you know, nurture, they have a beautiful heart. Um, so this doesn't make any sense to me. How can you be a narcissist, but also be like a nurturer? That's two conflicting type, whatever. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's two conflicting energies. How can you be a narcissist and be a nurturer at the same time? Okay. Whatever. I'm done. 
Get out of my house, Virgo. <laughs> All right, we're going to do your uh, spirit massage. All right, what you got for some Virgos? What you know about rolling down in the deep? <laughs> and it bring us love. Call it mental freeze. <laughs> Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo Polo. All right, what do we got for Virgo? That's rock and roll, Virgo. I can't get out. Ooh, that flew. Ooh, that flew. That flew. That flew. Ooh wee. All right, so we have Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Move beyond your current challenges and focus on what you desire. Okay. I love this card. It's beautiful. All right, Holy Amethyst is the twin flame of Archangel Zadkiel, the angel who helps us transmute negative experiences into love. See, I told you, get rid of this negative energy of heartbreak because we are going to transmute it into love and learning. He is the keeper of the violet flame, which helps us release anything that is no longer serving us. Amethyst also enables us to look over our past fears and challenges and draw wisdom and learning from them. Unlike Zadkiel, for many years she was not mentioned in the spiritual text, and I believe this was because her miraculous support wasn't needed on earth as it is now. To connect deeply with her light, hold her namesake crystal. So, Amethyst, you are ready to move beyond energies or situations that are no longer helpful to you. Yes, you are, Virgo. And to make space in your life for something more purposeful, you may feel a real need for clearing out, not just mentally or emotionally, but physically too. There is a sense you are moving beyond challenges and forging golden opportunities from stagnant or unhappy experiences. It's important to recognize that you are like a magician at this time with the ability to use your thoughts, will, and actions to bring about life-fulfilling and dream-enhancing opportunities. It's important to focus on what you desire and not what you fear because what you give your energy to will literally begin to flourish. Call on Holy Amethyst to help you focus on golden opportunities. Okay, so that's going to conclude your reading, my beautiful Virgos. If you want to book a reading with me, click on the little arrow underneath my video. And I have a new website, so all you have to do is um, hit book now on my website, and it pops up all of my services. And, um, you know, you can decide what you want. For those of you that have joined me on Patreon, thank you so much. Um, I haven't uploaded the Patreon sexual energy reads yet. There is a good reason for it. And I will connect with all my patrons and let you guys know why. I do apologize. Um, please check out my son's channel. He's the only channel that is linked below um, in my description box. I have a new product on Etsy. So please watch my video um, explaining about my new product. It is called uh, Chakra Bunny Sexy Salts. And it is bath salts that are activated for tantric sexuality and romance. So, of course, it has to be for romance because yeah, I'm a love reader. Uh, if you want to tip me, my tip jar is still below. Thank you guys for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. I love you, Virgo. Get rid of that heartbreak.